Hello everyone and welcome to another Sulu video and today we're going to be talking about Dojo and of course it's surprisingly high win rate. I can't believe it but it's in the top 5 winning characters of the patch right now and I guess I'm going to talk a little bit about like why I think Dojo is so good and that's a little bit of the outline about what's going to be in this video. But nonetheless, let's get started. Let's look at this gameplay and let's talk a bit about Dojo. So why is Dojo winning so much and is it actually secret broken Sulu? Um, the, the short and plain answer to this, it's actually, it's very surprising. Do I think Dojo is broken? It isn't. It isn't broken. Do I think the new item, Charging Charm, really helped its win rate? Yes. And I believe that the people running Dojo right now, it's a small section of the community, they're generally players who understand how the game works a little bit better. Dojo is one of these characters that is heavily mechanics influenced. Like, the better understanding of the mechanics you have, the better you're going to have of the game as Dojo. And in this way, I feel like the majority of Dojo players who are still playing Dojo in this, this very strange meta for Dojo, it's not bad by any means, right? But it's not like, you know, perfect. And the players who are playing Dojo, they're going to be slightly better off. You know, they're going to be a little bit sharper with their mechanics. They're going to really feel comfortable in the character. You're not getting people first timing Dojo like they were on Mewtwo and, you know, destroying lobbies. But Dojo does have very powerful abilities like tied to it. I also want to mention, of course, that just before this, Dojo was absolutely disgusting because uh, this bug. Now, I don't know if many of you know, but there was a bug of agility that was giving five boosted attack charges rather than three. And that, this is a significant difference, especially with the reload time in between. So talking a bit more about Dojo, and I'm running Tri-Attack in this game. This is uh, the thing I have as well pinned on. Tri-Attack is probably the harder moveset in the sense that you don't actually have this immediate CC, but you actually have benefits in a lot of other ways. You have a slow, you have damage enhancers, and it allows a poke the poking range option for Dojo. Like, even against a char characters like Mewtwo and whatnot, if you can poke them down and then go into boosted auto attack, it's a lot of damage that very quickly adds up against these characters. And you can see this game, I have Comfy to help me, so it makes the gameplay and the fluidity of how it works a lot better. You can just see like the amount of pressure I'm able to put onto the enemies, just having the Dojo uh, shielded and helped by the comfy the entire game it really does make a big difference and I'd say like if it wasn't for this I probably wouldn't have dropped 120 on their foreheads <laughs> so um, back to the point at hand yeah Dojo isn't necessarily broken it is very strong it is like it has good moveset it has good survivability it has good tankiness in that sense it has good damage it's rounded it has some lifesteal it has quick movements it has good abilities that stun it has a bit of everything and when you have a bit of everything and when you play like a character like Dojo, when it is strong, it is very, very strong, like much more overwhelming than this. And when it's weak, it, it's going to be pretty useless unless you're a true master of the character. And I don't mind that gameplay, but I think what we're seeing here is it's not a bad time for Dojo at all. And what you end up getting is when it's not bad for Dojo, it's actually quite good. You know, it's quite enjoyable. The Dojo players have a, good, a lot of good times. And especially considering how well support pair Dojo. Dojo is like a Zoroark in this instance, right? With like the high ability to move around the map, high ability to stun and annoy opponents. And like this maneuverability just gives it a whole nother angle of like being able to pursue opponents. You can just see like throughout this whole game, I've been harassing the Mewtwo just nonstop, just chasing him down giving them no room to breathe because I know the moment Mewtwo's future, uh, future strike is gone or whatever the one that is that, that hits I think Psy Strike. Yeah, the moment the Psy Strike is gone, he's completely useless to me and I can just auto attack him to death even. Like, But I can better yet keep my range, annoy him even further and then come in for the quick easy kill. Don't even give, give it up the chance. Now, of course, like if I was up against Future Sight, it wouldn't be exactly the case of the story, but you know, it isn't the case in this game and you know, I'm able to just run away when I want to and re-engage when I want to. And I can see like the Unite move for Dojo is as well another big talking point, like a knock up for free is very huge. And not to mention, it does a lot of damage to the increased boost of all attacks. It's basically agility in uh, with a knock up added on. And I think that's just great because it adds to the stuns of this character. This character has just so much forms of CC, its lifesteal is ridiculous, like it really is just a completed character. And I feel like Dojo is one of the better designed characters in the game, and I'd love to talk about that in another video. But for this video and the case in point, Dojo OP, yeah, no, it's not really. I, I think, as I said, when we explained one of the options, I think that maybe its influenced win rate is largely in fact due to a community of Dojo players who know how Dojo works and generally have to be somewhat good at the game to make and understand this character. Now, I think that's because it, it's base instincts of like strong mechanics you need. And then, you know, if you have better macro play and understanding of how the game works, Dojo is just going to be stronger. As you can see, I'm just maneuvering around the jungle the whole time. 
I don't even need to take a break. Like, you know, I'm running in there, doing what I want, running out. Look, look at this Mewtwo. He's just so desperate to kill me. Like, really, he wants to do everything. But, like, in this case, it's like it's too much to ask. And then, I'm uh, getting chased. I'll oh, run away. You know, poke them down. Like, what are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do when I come for you? Okay, oh, wow. Nail biter escape. And I'm just, you know, I'm blessed to have a comfy on me the entire time. You can just already see how annoying it is to enemy team. Really hard to shake me off. Without hard CC, without a reliable way to completely destroy me, there's not really much they can do. They just sort of have to watch and, you know, stand around as I poke them down, as I annoy them, as I make their gameplay hard. Now, of course, I get caught by the Gudra. A little bit of a mistake there from my end. And, you know, I pay the price. I pay the ultimate price and I go back to the base. But, nonetheless, this character, extremely good. I Do I think it's worth investing in Dojo? Like, if you're, you're not a Dojo player, you might be watching this video, is this a new character that I can play a little bit and get some free wins? I don't think it is, it's not one of those type of characters. I do think it is a character that if you like how Dojo plays, if you like how the, the gameplay forms and works out, like you know, you're this sneaky speedster who comes in and out of the fight, in and out of the fight, it's like Weaves sets the tempo of the game in this strange way. You're not necessarily a one-shotter, but you also do one-shot people. Like, oh wow. Razorfin escape there again. But yeah, if you like that kind of gameplay where you're in and out, you're like a low health assassin that thrives on holding good range and spacing and counting abilities and, you know, manipulating the map to your favor, well, then I think Dojo is a great character for you. And I think you should go and enjoy it a lot more. You can just see this Gudra. Like, you know, they're, they're, they're running around the map trying to stun me. And when that you have the enemies doing that, that's when you're winning as Dojo. You can just look, the jukes, just everything is crazy. I can just do whatever I want. They're at my mercy. They have no hard CC on the squishies. And boom, it's a Decidueye down. I, well, at least I think, okay, he's definitely down. And yeah, just once again, use Gudra as an Oompa Loompa. You know, boom, stop in his head. Uh, he's like a Goomba. A Goomba? Goomba. That's the correct one. Goomba from Mario. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> it's like Goomba Stumpers. And now, of course, here, it does look like I'm going to get caught. But look at the comfy healing. It's absolutely great. No, well, I end up dying anyway. That's a bit unfortunate for myself. But as you can see, the gameplay for Dojuro itself, it's very nice. Like, it, it feels like a very fluid character when done correctly. And it can give you a lot of insight and valuable ability in the game. Like, it helps your micro mechanics. Helps your macro mechanics. I feel like... Dojo in that sense is never failed as a character and I feel that's why we're probably seeing Dojo rise in the win rate you know be very successful in Pokemon Unite because out of the many games in Pokemon Unite people who are playing Dojo are having to work a little bit harder than usual but still it is so strong. Both move sets are really good but personally I prefer to try attack a jump kick move set and as I was saying before just so many stuns being able to have this poking gameplay really annoying to deal with you become this like really annoying backline diver that doesn't actually need to dive to poke them. Like, look, Cinder has to immediately burn this thing. I have to, it's so non-committal, though, Drew. I go in and out and I weave however way I like it because I have the comfy permanently on me and I can play a very aggressive game. You can see I cut them dry here. Like, I probably could have waited a few seconds for the score, but, you know, better uh, early than never because if they stop my score, it can be pretty bad. As I said, the hard CC, they can one-shot you. I'm not just looking for the flank here. Now, I guess this is an interesting part. Like, how do you play Dojo in the sense? You just look look at it. Look at the gameplay that you're watching right now. I think it's very cut and dry about what I'm doing. I'm being an annoying, free-headed bird. And that's all you want to think about. What would be the most disturbing type of gameplay and make me the most elusive out of everyone in the game? And when you start succeeding at that end, and you'll see, like, they want to blow Unite moves on me. And when you predict it, when you expect it, you'd probably do your night move as well, and you're the one who ends up on top. The whole team is wiped. Okay, we do have Mewtwo Y. They have Mewtwo as well. Can't blame him. But you can see the value and benefit of playing like something like Dojo. Now I'm going and hunting for the opponents. I see, oh, okay, my team's already got them. This didn't even need my help. I did all the bursts I could. Ran away. Going to kill. And Gengar takes down the Mewtwo. And, of course, we end up in a win here. Do I think it was largely due to my efforts? Yes, I do, for sure. And I think that's fine. It's fine to congratulate yourself on a good game and find these angles for victory. I hope every single one of you enjoyed the video. And of course, as always, leave a like, sub, and comment on the channel. What did you think of Dojo? Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy the 120,000 damage performance. Cheers.